Merry Christmas. Merry Xmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Merry Christmas. So it is not actually Christmas today, but it is Christmas Eve. And when you be watching this video, you'll be watching it on Christmas Day is when I'll be putting it out anyway. So uh, uh, not necessarily a Christmassy theme sort of thing going on today, but what I do have going on is I'm going to see Mr. Big Guy Performance Parts at his house. And um, and I never met him before, and I'm going to see him and say good day and meet his family and whatnot. Um, well, I've been bloody kabucha because uh, for Christmas uh, we come up to see uh, Jasmine's family and and whatnot in in uh, Brisbane. And I thought, while well, I got the chance and whatnot, I'll steal the car and come up here and meet Mr. Big Guy and uh, and see him all and whatnot. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, uh, he's got a couple of cars. He's got like a, um, he's got a Hillman Imp. Uh, I think he's, he's doing into a drag car. He's got a, a Falcon Ute. He's doing a bit of development on that. And then uh, what else he got? He's got a Rolls Royce and uh, and whatnot, and a, a Skyline. And yeah, he's got he's got some cool cars. So we're gonna check out his sheds and, and show his cars and that. But yeah, it was my first time meeting. I never met uh, Mr. Big Guy before, and it's. Uh, it's a bit exciting, so um, yeah, thought I'd film it, and uh, and here we go. So it is currently. I was meant to meet him at ten, and it's nine thirty. So now I've got to, I've got to spend some time um, uh, doing this while I uh, while I wait for ten because I don't want to. Um, I want to go any earlier than I said because it's rude. Anyway, here we go. Uh, all right. So this is Zach. Um, from uh, Big Guy Performance Parts uh, and it was it Advanced Motorsports? Advanced yeah, Motorsports, yep. You want me to yell? You gotta, mate, you're talking like me. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't like yelling. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we've come up to uh, his shed and he's, I said in the video he's got a Skyline and a Rolls Royce, which is right behind us. So we're gonna go have a look. Zach, you gotta, you know, to show me a bit about your Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce, alright. This is your Rolls Royce. Current project that I bought about a year ago, thinking that I was going to have it done by now. It still looks exactly the same as the day I got it. Put the headlights back on when I did that. It sat in this corner and it's sat here ever since. <laughs> Look at the old vinyl roof. How big it is? The no model, so a bit longer than normal. It's the German model. <laughs> yeah, I just opened this door, would you? I, I did sit in here, and I, know, I understand. Bloody, well, a Rolls Royce now. They've, um, I'm not going to get in there again, but like there's, there's a whole heap of room. But there's more room in there than like the back seat of like a Dodger Ram. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. Uh, but you've got to fit the big Germans in there. And for a very, very old car, everything still shuts like new. I've got a Vauxhall that does that, but only on one door. <laughs> <laughs> the plans for this thing is. Four link rear end, nine inch diff, uh, turbo 400, LS2, six liter, L98, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Harrop blower, try to make 1,000 inch horsepower when it wants to, and <laughs> 300 horsepower every other time. Yeah. Uh, should be just a big family cruiser, basically. Yeah, that's cool. Charles under the bonnet, Zachary. You gotta open it again. How yeah, cool it is. Yeah, the whole room. Look at that. Oh. These just lift. They do too. Look at that. Oh. I'll put zoom yours out. Look. Uh, there's not much to look at, obviously, yet. Yeah. Look, look at this. Like, I saw this. This is like um, they call it like satin. It's like what your your Duna cover has on it. <laughs> they do usually have a light somewhere here. That's what that light is for. So you can work on your Rolls Royce when it breaks down all the time. <laughs> twin blower aircon, they're well and truly over-engineered. Twin caliper front, um, all hydraulic assist um, by the motor brakes and suspension. So the suspension's rock hard because there's no motor in it at the moment. So they're very, very over-engineered. It's full galvanised. Um, all the panels that are removable are either stainless or aluminium. 
so very little rust in them as well. They're a good project to have. Yeah, yeah. I, I always wanted a Rolls Royce, but uh, it's one of them. It's another one of them things where to buy one and do one up, or buy one in a good good condition is still bloody expensive. It, like even like they're not so far expensive. You got to be a millionaire to own them, but they're still it's. Finding parts, buddy, all this, all that stuff, sort of stuff. It's just a bloody headache. Mm -hmm. it's, um, but, yeah, I, I still I really like it. What is it, Silver Shadow? Yes. Yeah. 71, I think. 71. Series, yeah, series 1. It does have the ugly bumpers like the Series 2. Ugly bumpers. Mate, there's nothing like ugly about a Rolls Royce ever. The Series 2 <laughs> has big plastic bumpers. I hate them. They look <laughs> ugly as. <laughs> that's all. That's all. That's a bit like the interior's a little different, but yeah, the bumpers are the main thing. Okay. Um. The other thing I said about his skyline, he's got like not quite an R33, not quite an R34. Uh, the best of both of them, though. <laughs> oh, buddy. Sex happens. Yeah. So tell me about your skyline, mate. So. Again. I got this car. I got this car when I was seventeen. Um. Yeah. Like I said. I used to have a Commodore that I used to do drifting in, and V Commodore, I should say, and it just broke all the time, like all the time. So Sounds like a Holden thing. Yeah, my dad would never <laughs> never let me own a Nissan or anything that wasn't new because it'd be unreliable, but this has probably been, well, this has been the most reliable drift car. I only had two. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, this car, bought it when I was 17, I've had it for 11 years now. It's yeah, it's evolved over the years. hasn't done much the last couple of years. It's just been a shed ornament. Um, but yeah, it's got everything that you need to go drifting in it. It's got enough power to chirp second. It's yeah, mm. it's all you need. Yeah, the inside. Oh, I could have vacuumed it. Really? Yeah, the carpet's <laughs> a bit messy. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Yeah. What what sort of motor is it? Just this. Bone stock RB25, uh, the same motor it came with from factory. Not the same motor, but the same motor it would have come mm. with from factory. Running, I don't know, 20 pounds of boost, 3582 turbo, bigger injectors, link ECU, um, 400 ish horsepower. I don't actually know. I just dynoed it to do a bone out, not to make power. But uh, and you swapped the front end and rear end and, and whatnot, didn't you? You yeah, cut all. Yeah, that was a massive job. Probably not something I'd do. Still, if I was an amateur, but I did that to an AU Falcon, and yeah. people all up in arms about. It, so I don't know what they're going to say about a skyline. <laughs> but it's all. It's not really a show car. It's all made to do what it needs to do. Not look that good. That's exactly. Looks good on the outside, but that's all that really matters. Practical to work on. Bloody, it's easier to fix. So, um, yeah, how cool is it? So, we can't do his top shed. Mm. He opens the doors. He says, I'll show you my dyno. <laughs> and mind you, this is his house. Yep. So, uh, he's got a dyno in his back shed. Do you know what I have in my shed, Zach? Possums. Possums, I have possums. possums. Rats. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> Jasmine's Christmas decorations. So that's what I have in my Jasmine's shed. Jasmine's Christmas presents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, Anyway, so look, he's got his uh, dad's buddy Ford Ranger on the on the dyno at the moment. Yeah, diagnostic work. Yeah, so we'll we'll show you a bit on that. <laughs> so they just put an exhaust on it for his dad. So now he's he's just going to go fire it up, and we'll let you just, just hear the exhaust on it. All right, fire it up, sunshine. Let's do this. <laughs> Sounds fat. <laughs> Typical Rodeo. Oh, Jesus, we're diesel particulates. All right, so we're full of shit. He's actually going to fire it up now. <laughs> Exhaust on the XR8. All right, Jack, you have to open the bonnet. 
and uh, and show us what it actually is now. Coming to his his back shed, which is the dino cell, and uh, he's got his dino stuff going. But uh, yeah, as I said, it's his dad's ranger. It's a bit different though, because uh, if if you heard, um, it's got a coyote in it. Ooh, LS yeah. what? LS's. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll zoom you out. Yeah, so this is your dad's car, isn't it? It is my dad's car. He, he loves toys, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> He's irresponsible. Um, so I don't know if we've got any uh, regular viewers of uh, Cletus McFarlane uh, and what he does. They ha he currently is giving away a um, F-150 or something. With a, it's got a Coyote with a blower on it. And it's, it's a bit different, whatever. But this is pretty much the Australian version, isn't it? It's, uh, Coyote with the 10 speed and whatever, everything is similar to what they're doing. You should talk him into putting a blower on it. Oh, I sent him that Cletus video yeah. and he wants to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've well, got the dyno and everything, the bloody, and all the hardware and stuff to do it. So, yeah, it's cool as buggery. It, it's a Raptor, isn't it? This one. It is, yeah. So, it's just, you know, your average Raptor and whatnot inside. Apparently, all the dash and stuff still works, like with your cruise control, your steering wheel controls and stuff. I suppose, um, that's all to do with the how the ECU is wide. I've always sort of wondered, like, I know rangers in particular uh, are super sensitive to all their wiring and voltages and all that sort of stuff. Like, it's insane. But um, this one's obviously had the conversion and everything still works. So they've uh, piggybacked the Coyote Mustang ECU off the original one. So it runs a motor, but everything else still works like it should. It's bloody awesome. Uh, yeah, that's cool. It's baggage, that. Ooh, it's yeah. A bit of kit. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't know this was here today, so I didn't know to do a video yet. But now we're going to go have a look at these drag cars in the making. His little uh, Hillman imp, which is cool as buggery. Here it is. <laughs> here it is. So what's the, what's the point of this one? Uh, I got it for free and wanted a little buggy to do stuff around the yard and lost interest in it, like I do with most of my stuff. All right, let's go with the actual buddy Hillman now. <laughs> I'm a vlogger. <laughs> so this is his Hillman imp. We didn't completely unwrap it, but we'll put, I'll put in like a proper photo here. So uh, this is it. What is the story with it? So this is my little Hillman imp that I'm going to build into a drag car, street car. Putting full nine inch, four length rear end, car glide, K20. Um, try and make it like a proper quick drag car eventually yeah. build it as is get it registered sort the kinks out and then yeah built motor built gearbox it's going to get a power glide 1500 horsepower trans brake all that kind of crap that you need in drag cars um so yeah it'll be a bit of fun so a, a k20 that's the honda motor isn't it yeah yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's a smaller version that's of the k24 yeah. yeah 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 okay yeah, I'm not like a, I'm not a front front drive sort of guy. <laughs> or a Honda guy for that matter. The K20 was like the biggest motor without going to junk SR, without going to junk SR, junk SR, junk SR. <laughs> that I could fit in this car power to weight ratio for rego. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's bloody. That's cool. I'll put in a better photo. We sort of half unwrapped it, but it's all still in the in the process. Like there's, you know, obviously no wheels on it, but yeah. Um, all right, there you go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Is that, these are originally. Apparently, I didn't know. I don't know much about these Hillman and stuff, but it was originally rear engine. Like he, he showed me that one over there, and it's got like a gearbox and stuff in it. But yeah. Yeah. rear engine like a Volkswagen Beetle. Mm. Yeah, it's a water cooled motor too. It is water cooled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So yeah, he's big buddy swapping this one. Should be pretty good when it's done. And uh, yeah, I put a proper photo in and whatnot. And uh, and yeah. All right. So that's this video. Uh, I've met big guy now and uh, and whatnot. He for, you, for those of you that don't know uh, who who he is and what the whole video has been about, he uh, he sponsored me fuel system and me IC seven dash and bloody all my other bits and pieces, heaps of stuff uh for me me burnout car and whatnot and yeah he owns um big guy performance parts up in kabulcha he's got like a walk-in shop and also uh online too he's, he's wanting to move into the whole online thing so um yeah i'll 
I'll put in me uh, product code. <laughs> a couple of product codes here and uh 10 percent off what is it raceworks aeroflow turbo smart and track my rod products yep. Yep. and then there's a discount on bloody haltech stuff too but you gotta use a different product code for that which is Haltech. just haltech <laughs> yeah so um i'll put that all in there and and whatnot but yeah no it's good to meet you I would shake your hand, but I'm, I'm shaking my phone at the moment anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, anyway, so, yeah, if you're in uh, north of Brisbane, um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's in Caboolture, but, yeah, he's uh, got a big walk-in shop, fittings and all sorts of bits and pieces. So, check him out. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah We've got to do the goodbye thing, right? Yeah, that's right, Goodbye. See you, guys. <laughs>